Hey everybody, I'm Mary, and this is my Simple Cottage Life. Hey, Tuli. Hey there, Tuli. Can you say hello to the people, baby? Can you? Mrs. Key invites you to subscribe to her mama's channel. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. It's, it's about 8.30 out here this morning. It's nice. There's a bit of a breeze. I can't get them in the film, they're so fast. Mama didn't show up this morning for breakfast. She came in about 30 minutes later, but I don't know where she was. Maybe just looking around, you know, there is more land to this property than just this little enclosed area. She is quite skilled at learning how to escape, that's for sure. I put my plant over here that darling gave me, isn't that pretty? That is really growing. Okay, y'all, I have a dilemma, and I want to know, what would you do? So, you know, a few months ago, I ordered some exterior lights to put on my home, and y'all, y'all saw them, I installed them right up here. Well, note, they're not there now. The reason is, within four days, the light was so faint, you may as well not have had it on at all. And they were solar lights, and they, they were like $32 for two. And for a, a solar light from Amazon, 15 bucks a piece is not cheap. So I was confident maybe that, you know, it's one of those, well, they cost a little more, so they must be better. Anyway. Went to all the trouble of installing them. Y'all saw that I did. I have a video about that. And the light got super faint. Just not worth having on the side of the house. And I took them down. So, about a month later, I went on Amazon and I wrote a review. And I said, you know, I bought these lights. And they're awful. Well, I didn't say they were awful. Here's what I said. I said I bought the, the two lights and installed them. And the light is almost non-existent. They're cheaply made, uh, flimsy plastic. So now I just have a decoration on the side of my house. And that's all I said. So it went along several weeks. I didn't, you know, didn't think about it anymore. And I started getting an email from the company. And it's usually a name like Consuelo or Felipe. And um, they said they were a small company. They were trying to make a living for their families. Uh, and my review was hurtful to them. Yeah, I guess I could see why they would feel that way. How small a company are they? They're selling on Amazon. So they said, if you will take down your review, we will give you a $20 gift card. Well, I'm like, I, and I'm thinking, I'm not going to take down my review. I don't want your gift card. It was an honest and fair review of a product that I paid 30 something dollars for. I mean, come on. It's not like a YouTube video where people can write unfair things or fair things. It's, it's not like that at all. This is a product that I had to pay for. A few days later, I got another 
email. Pretty much the same thing. It said, this time it said, I'm a clerk at the company. So they've got everybody in their dog writing review, uh, writing uh, emails to people. So they say they're probably just changing the name of it each time. She offered me $20 too. I forgot about it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, long story short, we're down to six emails now. This one I got at 6.15 a.m. this morning. And I wasn't ready to get up. This one's offering me $30 if I would go take down the review. They clearly said in the email that they deserved that review and that they are, are uh, talking to people about changing manufacturers. I believe that. Sure, I do. Anyway. I don't want their $30 gift card as a bribe to take down an honest review of a product that I had to pay for. What would you do? Would you say, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take down that gift card. I mean, I'll take down that review and you send me that gift card. It said, as soon as I take down my review and they see that it's down to contact them and they will send me my gift card. Do you believe that? Because I don't. Anyway, it's, it's beginning to be harassment now. Six emails and they're at six o'clock in the morning. You know what I thought? Just to be done with them and not have to worry about this stuff anymore. Not be woke up in the early in the morning with this I just take down the darn review and be done with it but I'm not going to contact them and tell them I took it down I'm not but anyway like I said what would you do let me know in the comments